Hey, Flutter developers, welcome back to AstroDev's channel. Today, we've got a special video for all Flutter enthusiasts out there. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just diving into the world of Flutter, these are the top 10 things you should know to supercharge your development journey. So, grab your favorite coding snack, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's dive into some wonderful world of Flutter. Number 1. Single codebase for iOS and Android. Kicking things off with a game changer, Flutter allows you to write a single code base for both iOS and Android. Yep, you heard it right. Say goodbye to maintaining a separate code for different platforms. Flutter magically compiles your code into native binaries for iOS and Android. This not only saves time, but also ensures consistency across platforms. It's like killing two birds with one stone, but in a developer-friendly way. Number 2. Widgets Now let's talk about building blocks of Flutter. Widgets in Flutter, everything is a widget, from a button to the entire application itself. Understanding the widget tree is the key to mastering Flutter development. Widgets are like Lego bricks, you assemble them to create your masterpiece, so get ready to become a widget architect. Number 3. Hot Reload Speaking of speed, Flutter's Hot Reload feature is a game changer. It allows you to instantly see the effects of code changes without restarting the app. It's like real-time magic for developers. This significantly speeds up the development process and boosts productivity. You'll wonder how you ever lived without it. And now, let's move on to the next point. Number 4. Dot Programming Language Flutter uses Dot as its programming language. Don't worry if you're new to Dot. It's designed to be easy to learn, especially for those with experience in languages like JavaScript and Java. So, embrace Dot and get ready to write clean and efficient code for your Flutter apps. Number 5. Stateful and Stateless Widgets Widgets in Flutter are either stateful or stateless. Stateless widgets are immutable. While stateful widgets can change over time, understanding the difference is crucial for building dynamic user interfaces. It's like knowing when to use snapshot when to use a steel frame in your app's story. Number 6. Material Design and Cupertino Style Flutter provides widgets that implement the material design guidelines for Android apps and Cupertino Style for iOS apps. This ensures a native look and feel on both platforms, so whether your users are on Android or iOS device, they'll feel right at home in your app. Number 7. Flutter Packages Flutter has a rich ecosystem of packages that provide pre-built functionalities. From UI components to device features, leveraging these packages can significantly speed up development. It's like having a toolkit filled with all the gadgets you need to build your app masterpiece. Number 8. State Management Managing state in Flutter is crucial for building scalable and maintainable applications. There are various approaches like set state, provider, block, redux, and etc. Choose the one that fits your project requirements. It's like having a well-organized control panel for your app's dynamic behavior. Responsive UI Flutter makes it easy to create responsive UIs to adapt different skin sizes. Understanding and implementing responsive design principles will enhance the user experience across various devices. It's like tailoring suit to fit perfectly on every device, whether it's a smartphone or a tablet or a desktop. Number 10. Community and Documentation Flutter has a growing and active community. Leveraging community resources, forums, and documentation is essential for staying updated, solving problems, and learning best practice. It's like having a supportive team of fellow developers always ready to help you on your Flutter journey. So, there you have it, the top 10 things you should know about Flutter. Whether you're just starting or looking to level up your Flutter skills, mastering these key concepts will set you on the path to become Flutter Pro. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to us for this, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Happy coding and see you in the next video.